and even bouncing back after a tough overtime loss, an incredible comeback from SK on train, taking cash, and now into the pistol round and the final map. Here it comes. Virtus Pro and SK Gaming, best of five, and we're on the final map here. It's Cobblestone with VP starting on the CT side, and SK Gaming on the T side, and Taco in a lot of trouble here. Alone, there's no one there with him, and he's gonna go down. Pasha very aggressive in snacks. One headshot here could do wonders. He's forced back a little bit, and Fur wants to try and see if he can maybe chase him down. Bolts is there as well. Snacks in the corner, and that's a great double kill in return. That's actually huge. Snacks just couldn't get away, couldn't feel comfortable. Taz has to hold the line, has to hold the bomb site, and he can't land that shot, and they all fall down. Aggressive pistol round from SK, and they've got it. 1-0. Very interesting, and I guess a hard decision to make. As soon as they get Taco over there, it seemed like they could have played it more defensively. I don't mind that Snacks took the first shot over there, but he just he didn't feel comfortable running away. No, he really didn't. And I think the big thing was for a while he, he was fine in that position um, that he fell back to. But the, def the his teammates that are helping him out, because someone has the long range on that one, someone has the long angle and playing contact, and, and he's there to kill the out out on the distraction. They can't stay there forever because there's potentially players coming up the, terror the, the mid ramp. And then all of a sudden they just get taken out from the side. So that's the tough gamble. Nice pop flash over. A good idea. Doesn't pay off. The opportunity was available to him. They've got three HE grenades, so I almost feel like they kind of want to bait SK into a push on the catwalk here. That would be interesting. Up on the plateau. Early grenades not quite doing enough damage. This is a, round, this is a map um, that's very hard to play the CT side on. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. Very, very tricky, especially because both of these teams have been wrestling at economy control away from each team. All five players for Virtus Pro are here. Important to note, they didn't they didn't buy armor in this round. They just have they have the nades. They have the upgraded weaponry. I actually would just say don't even go for this anymore. You just you lost. You gambled B. It's it's fair play. It's a good idea. It doesn't work out. You had the nade stack as well. Just keep your guns for the next round and go for another dangerous stack then. Yeah, you you have to agree with that. I think Taz wants to be close enough to maybe surprise somebody. Got to be very careful though. Getting a couple of kills here would probably help out a bit. Fall in his flank all the way into T-spawn, wants to catch anyone rotating that way. But there's a bit of a standoff here. We'll see if SK actually want to hunt once the bomb is about to go up. I kind of doubt it from their position. It looks like they sort of just want to fall back if it comes down to it. Neo is going to see the grenade. And they're just all going to run, Coop. Oh, maybe they're going to find one kill there, Snacks. Going down. They are hunting actually pretty aggressively right here at the end. Turn in the corner. He's going to get another one. Almost transferred over to a third. Good finds. No real loss for VP, but some bonus money goes the way of Cold Zera. All right. We've got the chance out for SK as well. He's hearing a lot of Virtus Pro earlier, but it's good to see that the crowd is really alive here. They've been here for a very long time today. Yeah, they That's absolutely have been, haven't they? Second round on the board for SK Gaming. Scout in play for Pasha. But not much. Um, actually, I think they even had the HE from the previous round. So I like the fact that VP did not buy armor in that last round. I think they, they really need everything. That fourth round has to be a big one. Yes, definitely. Please remember as well, this is a map that was has been very kind to, to Virtus Pro. They've been very, very good on it at certain times during their, uh, during their runs. In this resurgent form. They could pick off right where they left. And there's some more kills from Fur with that MAC-10 just pushing right through Connector. And now the chase is on. Now the hunt is on. Tagged by the, uh, the scout, though. The one thing that's going to force Fur away from aggression is not having the HP to take the fights. CC on Neo. Goes down at least Bialy alone with just a USP. So definitely very hard to stay alive here if you're Bialy. Oh, he's going to get a good headshot on Fallen. That's not bad. Fur will take him down for a triple, all of the Mac 10 kills. 3 and O, oh, great start here for the Brazilian side. See what can happen now. Virtus Pro, AWP on snacks. Yeah, look for him to get aggressive in the halls, push all the way down to the end of it and just take a quick peek, much like he did on pistol round. Fall back if he doesn't get much, but the dangerous thing is, luckily the rest of VP has head armor and body armor, snacks has nothing, so those Mac 10s could be very, very deadly. 
Just a couple lucky random bullets. But you'd also expect for SK Gaming, if they're going to have two MAC-10s and even a Galil, these MAC-10s are going to be pretty fast, pretty aggressive, leading the way. Taco just waiting, respecting the smoke snacks, hoping to find someone. I would say that's a dangerous position to take because that mid gets grenaded a lot from the T side, but... Um, and spammed yeah. as well. So yeah, he, he, I think that might be why he decided to just bounce away really quick. He didn't find the kill he wanted. Smoke is going to isolate Taco. There's the Molotov to force him out, but he's boosted up, so that could catch him off guard. Pasha's got the angle, though. Pasha takes the fight. Oh. And here's Cold Zera dropping down drop as well. Trying to respond to losing that control over at long. Plenty of time. The bomb is still dropped pretty far back here. Do Virtus Pro want to try and retake it? I think they may have heard the drop already, so cold. That SMG around the corner. Going to get shut down Pasha with a second kill. And Fur in the corner. He's been spotted as well. So very, very good start here. And Snacks taking down Bolt will fall right afterwards. Yeah, they're going to want to keep their eye on that AWP, though. You definitely want to salvage that if you're Virtus Pro. Taz not going for it quite yet, obviously not realizing, not knowing if they still have the angle covered. He's the only one over at the A bomb site. He's not even really in the site as well. He's got to be careful. There are two smokes fallen in fur, and if those get put up at the right time in the right place, they could be blocked off and have to fight their way into a retake. But look at the info Neo is gaining on the flank. Yeah, this is very good stuff. Should be almost unwinnable. He's making a bit too much noise coming in. Got to be very careful. Shooting him in the back, though. It's obviously great news here for Neo and Viali to close out that round. So Virtus Pro winning the first rifle round and not just winning it, saving the AWP and another one, saving both the orbs, in fact, and with four members alive. That's fantastic. Yeah, a phenomenal fourth round, and you have to give them props for, for the, the, uh, the discipline to just completely pretty much save on that second round, not invest in the armor so they can have everything they need to take those fights. We saw a lot of good utility usage, uh, you know, over towards the B platform, the, D -smoke, the deep smoke, the Molotov, the yes. isolation of Taco just to get that one pick. Not that it's a huge detail, I'm wondering if maybe they didn't, <laughs> the double-op setup wasn't intentional, they both just tried to save the AWP for Snacks or for Pasha. <laughs> it could be. And they ended up getting both. It could be dangerous, especially because it looks like it's going to be a very explosive round here. This is classic Cobblestone, jumping down through the smoke, MAC-10 leading the charge, Fur is already down and Taco is going to fall. The defense holds, Bialy with a kill on Cold Sierra, fallen, unable to get the flick and Pasha will drop him. Now it's Bolts, one versus four. He needs the damage, a couple of kills, but Pasha shutting it down. It's a triple here. Very well done. And we have to point this out, because we talked yeah. about Snacks as being a specialist player on, on the previous map on Cash, but on this map, over on <laughs> B-Long, whole, -long, whole yeah. teams have been crushed just by throwing away like five rounds in a row against Snacks. He's got like a really uncanny ability to hold that, that part of the map. Especially with a shotgun. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the, the, best, uh, the best weapon he sometimes uses over there. So even on, uh, even on dicey economic situations, he can, he can have a big impact. Well, the desk called out Pasha saying he'd need to have a very strong game five. And at the moment, he's putting in a good effort early on here. There is rather large investment from SK into this. They have armor, they have utility, they have an AK on cold and deagles and pistols on the others. As this losing bonus builds. Early battle for the control of the drop here. So difficult to hold if you're on the CT side. If one mistake and you're gonna fall. And the really big problem with that is that loses the B-bomb side almost immediately. Now, looks like they wanna take control of A-Long instead. But look at where VPR, they're very far back on the site. This could definitely work out. They do have the weapon adv advantage, so. Yeah, Snax is peering deep into, into mid. From the top of the building, Taz is spotting over towards those A-holes, so they'll have plenty, plenty of time to call out. The, the trouble is, VP had two players in drop. That's a pretty quick rotation. Now that they're more committed to the B bomb site, it's gonna take much, much longer. Taz and Snacks have to hold off as long as possible. Flashbang's coming out, slowing SK just a little bit. Now they're up the ramp. There's Bialy with one. The Molotov is going to do some damage. The Deagle's going to finish off Snacks. And Cold is trying to do everything he can. And don't underestimate him. He's going to get one more kill. Taking down Taz, and he's finally going to get zoned out. Pasha coming in with a big kill there. And Bolts, the problem here is there's only 15 seconds. The bomb has to be picked up right now. And he's going to get zoned out by Neo, who was on a very long rotation, so... Very, very close. Cold Sierra almost bringing that round back to a win. 
But it will be Virtus Pro picking it up. And considering that they're on the CT side, I would say this is a fantastic start for them. Yeah, it's great. And actually, I mean, it's been two rounds now that Neo has had those big flanks early on in the first three buy rounds we've had in this first half. Wonder if SK is going to start catching on to that. Neo's got to be careful at how, how much he abuses that. But also, part of it comes in because they're doing such a good job of having information at B platform. Snacks again going to go for this peak in mid, waiting for a flashbang. Oh, and there it is. Right over the top of the smoke, Fallen goes down. Such a great peak coming out. But Pasha on the other side, definitely going to take something else for SK to start breaking some of these positions open. They really need to win some of those fights early on. Of course, this time they really don't have a lot. Scout being picked up again by Cold Zero, but this is... <laughs> this defense right now on the CT side is so much more proactive than we normally see. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of an offensive feel to it, isn't there? I love yeah. this out of Neo and Pasha, and again out of Neo. How Cold Zero hits a stunning shot with the scout, takes out Pasha, but they can actually recover that up. So an element of danger now in. Neo close up, he hears the scope, he doesn't want to do anything. No, there's no reason to give them a big, uh, a big opening here. The bomb is even pretty far back for SK. I think they're just hoping to get a lot more damage done. Grenade, and a great follow-up from Neo with a quad kill here. Four rounds in a row. And we got the kiss oh. count. Oh. Denied. You hate to see that. You really don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Moses, at least he's got someone to kiss, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, sad laughter. <laughs> SK <laughs> looking a bit concerned. And they've taken their first tactical timeout. Now, in the previous maps, even when they were down like 10 rounds or something, they, they didn't really take the timeouts until much later. This time a little bit earlier. I was going to say uh, that the entire train during that comeback, they didn't take any. They were using their second timeout in, in overtime, which, yeah. is, which is just madness. So maybe a little bit rattled. May, I mean, it could just be as simple as saying, Fallen saying, all right, guys, listen, if, if this is a couple of rounds now, we've seen them be aggressive on B platform, taking control and actually denying it from us. Like they, they have to have a plan to, to push that back or to at least not get damaged by it. It could be as simple as just picking up the pace. Let's find out. About time SK made their way back and win some of these rifles rifle rounds. That's definitely a must here on the T side. I would say you do kind of expect to get up to like 10-ish rounds. Maybe more if you can. Flashbang in to try and get the angle. Pasha waiting for Neo here. Really good coordination between the two. And you can tell SK aren't feeling so comfortable. Maybe they're going to try and take drop instead. Yeah, they're saying if they're aggressive towards B platform, that, that means there's at least two players using utility and peeking. We can abuse drop, and this looks like it's going to be a split towards the A bomb site. The bomb is over there. It's actually just now starting to rotate back. Oh, Neo's in a really, really dangerous position. Yeah. Certainly this gets Molotov. There's four of them available on the Brazilian side. Three, excuse me. He has a smoke, but that only sort of saves him halfway. A little bit of a flashbang trying to bait someone in to take the peek. 50 seconds now, and SK making their way down, drop, there's the smoke to come up, Fo with a great headshot to shut down Bialy Pasha, getting one in return. They have to get this round, SK Gaming, leg shot comes through, Neo gets one, a great double kill, pistols out, but he can't make it work, they've done so much damage already, Virtus Pro, and Snacks now showing up with the AWP, Taz on the side, it looks like SK want to boost up onto the box in the middle to get that high ground advantage. Snack sees it coming, and now it's unfallen. One versus two, 25 seconds here. He's on the site, no bomb plant yet. And Taz is just baiting him out. Snacks is waiting on the other side. The clock is running down low. Fallen is gonna go down. Taz with a really good kill. And Virtus Pro, that's such a big round to win. Yeah, heads up matchup from Taz behind the rock. It's who's bluffing who, who's gonna push up and be the aggressor. Does Taz think that Fallen is pushing towards him? How aggressively? What a great hold. Neo somehow in that situation gets two kills. That's a massive hold. Him and Pasha have been monstrous on that B platform. And this is the tough part. All of a sudden, if that portion of the map is shut down to the Terra side, like that's that's one of the main positions to hit that site. That I mean, that is the main position to hit that site. And if you can't do it, all of a sudden, what options do you have available to you? Not many. Maybe a change of pace is exactly what the doctor ordered. They're gonna try and fall back. Taco will go down. A lot of pressure being applied, but Snacks has got free reign over on this side, and those are just some great shots. Taking down Bolts and Fallen both. Burr and Cold 
They need something in this round. Yeah, they need to at least do damage. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen as well. Cold Zera caught off guard, and it's just down to Fur. He does find one onto Taz, and Pistol's out for Snacks, waiting for the close-up peek, and it's Neo again on the flank a third time in this half. Curtis Pro putting up a stellar defense. And it almost feels as if VP has carried Snacks all the way to the Grand Finals, and, and he's finally arrived for them in this tournament. It's the prophecy, Moses. It's coming true. It's All the stars happening. have aligned. It did seem unlikely that Snacks was going to be gone for very long, considering the kind of player that he is. But it really has not been his tournament outside of this. And what a time to come alive and peak. AK is all around for the SKC team. Let's see what they can do. I'm still surprised they haven't gone for more aggressive B-style pushes. A lot of damage onto Snacks is definitely a good start, but he's still pretty aggressive. I mean, it, it does seem like SK has put a little bit off their game by some of the aggression out of the Virtus Pro side, especially towards this side of the map. Dangerous for Neo, and I actually, that's a, that's a team shot. That's Pasha, I think, shooting Neo. That's gonna catch him off guard. I think I just saw Pasha say, sorry, bro. Now he's got the op, he's looking deep. Gotta be very careful how he handles this, though. Flashbang is well-timed. That's gonna allow Fallen to get into position. Pasha still wants the fight. Oh, wow. Hello. With almost no health at all right in first phase. But Pasha's in trouble. That flashbang. Gonna allow him to get back a little bit. Goes for the repeat. He does see Taco. Doesn't want to stick around for it. Trying to take a little bit more of a safe angle here. The bomb is out there. SK Gaming. They've got them low. And they've got the four versus four. What, what is Bolt's gonna do? He's on the other side of the map. He's got a great angle. He's already up long A. This is gonna be so dangerous. Flash over towards B platform. Bialy's gonna push it, they're taking matters into their own hands. That's brilliant, and Pasha saving Bialy as well. This teamwork is so impressive. Bolts is still on the flight though. Still some danger. Snacks is ready for him, but misses the shot. 20 seconds left, the bomb can't even make it. Taz cuts him off. VP is everywhere across this map. Oh my god, I, I was not expecting that. It looked like SK had the lineup, but the fact that they go that aggressive, Taco not ready for it. Pasha saving Bialy. Incredible team play. And Bolts can't, there's nothing he could have done. 19 seconds when the bomb drops. I, another round. It's the most, like, it's the lurk that is, like, so ineffective despite the fact that it, ha it gave them everything. It gave them everything they needed. It gave them a bomb site, gave them information. And it's just Taz who's pushing up, who stops the bomb from rotating over. If you're Bolts, that, that's got to be so frustrating. And technically speaking, SK could have called it either way. They can either say, listen, we're going to hit the beat bomb site and you catch someone rotating out and that's going to be the distraction, or we're going to wait for your lurk, which is what they did, and yeah. then they get pushed on. I mean, it's hard to know. Yeah, it really is. Let's see. Seven rounds in a row for Virtus Pro on CT side Cobblestone. Here it comes, Anders. Just a strong, strong B hit out of SK. Taco leading the way per usual. Got a lot of players here. Oh. That's a moment in limbo that could have caught Neo and Pasha off guard. Here comes the flash, though. Fallen's anticipated it, but he smoked off. He's gonna go right through. Another flash bang out. Pasha's there. Doesn't have the angle. That's a big kill. Pasha goes down. This is the opening. They cannot lose this round. Taz is here. Neo is here as well. What a flash bang. Is that a team? I'm not even sure. Neo is gonna get dropped. And Taz shot down by Cold Zero. Snacks now at a one versus four, and he is miles away, so... Save it. Bit of a scary moment there. Looked like that flashbang maybe was going to do a lot of damage. I, I think that was a team flash that actually that, that allowed Taz to get that kill so easily, but they'd done enough damage before it so that it didn't really matter a whole lot. But maybe just going to show some of that SK, that vaunted SK communication is, at the moment, not quite there. Either it's way, SK finally stops the bleeding. It's very interesting to see what will happen now because we've seen this in the past where a team will go on to win a number of rounds and it's like once the opponent sort of cracks it open then they can really sort of get it running like you just need that first round to get yourself back in the game or well, does vp continue with this aggression because you, you, you're seeing taco and and fall and it's like this continuous chess match throughout this like trying something new every time they're over at b platform changing something up changing up a nade changing up how you take a line how aggressively you do it just to see if you can catch them off guard or find the formula. So does VP alter it now? Do they do they go a little bit more passive on the B-bomb site? 
Let's find out. 7 4. Big hiatus for the Brazilian side. Not able to connect with the rounds, even though they got some openings every once in a while. It wasn't always enough. Double up back on Virtus Pro. Snacks obviously saving one of them, and they had to rebuy the other one. Let's see how this unfolds. Oh, oh no. Yeah, certainly a little discombobulated. I don't want to see that. I mean, it didn't cost them this time. It could have yeah. been someone there. Well, there's Snacks and A-Halls again. It's not pushed up all the way, but still in a position to get good information. Still in a good position to say, I'm not feeling any pressure whatsoever. And even being able to peer down Danger Stairs. So, well, it comes down towards Drop Zone. Neo's here, going to put a smoke up. And it looks like Fur wants to try and beat that, but he's not going to. Nade out as well. Pretty decent damage. And that boost from Bialy is interesting. I actually... Have I don't think SK have been monitoring that box because you can do that from the other side of the wall, but I haven't really noticed them doing it either. So maybe if by the alley can stay up there alone without getting pushed off, that's a very powerful position. They only have two left as well. SK, yeah, they've got Pasha to deal with, plenty of flashbangs. One comes out now, and he's blind. He almost even hits the shot. There's Neo from drop. When does Fur come down? When does he apply pressure to drop zone? Bolts gets a kill. That's on Bialy. Pasha smoked out. He can see absolutely nothing. It's all on Neo. Instant headshot onto Cold Zera. It's Bolts up next and he gets one more. And they still can't find their way into the bomb site. This is a very slow hit. But Virtus Pro, they're holding it for now. Neo getting close. Running headshot takes another one. And almost drops Fallen. Fur, who's been lurking the whole round, has to come up big here. It's a two on two. Fallen did finally take Pasha down, but there's only 10 seconds left. They need this round. They must win an SK if they can't make this work. This whole first half is going to be washed away by Virtus Pro. And there's Neo coming through with a big kill, a quad, in fact. As Virtus Pro win it, SK must know that was not a good turn of events. Taz said in his interview that it doesn't feel like the plow has arrived this tournament. Certainly, he's starting to get that impression now. Eight to four. They are stuffing SK, whether it's with aggression, whether it's sitting back into the bomb site. It's only one gun round that SK has won. And look at the timing. When Fur comes out, a drop is just when Neo goes back around the, the wall. And, I mean, yeah. that's not really, can't really credit Neo for that, but it's just the timing. It's almost unbelievable. Running into a grenade there, a little bit of damage onto Fallen, looking for a headshot. He actually does a lot of damage to Taz, who is simply forced back. They wanted that kill. That's a smart decision by Taz, though. Don't stick around for that fight. You don't have the line, you don't have the angle. He even goes over to group up with Snacks immediately, just in case there was more pressure coming. Still Snacks being aggressive, and it looks like this time he's going to get some action. And very elusive over at Long here. He's so hard to catch. They did it in the pistol round. He's gonna come back with the AWP. Almost an overpeak there, but still takes down Fallen, who did not have an AWP on the other side. And he sticks around. He Technically, you would say, by the book, he wouldn't have to. He could just wait for it. And he misses the shot on Bolts. And that's why you sometimes warn against it. Can't chain a player like Snacks down, though. You don't mind those kinds of plays. Only one smoke. For SK to cross into the site, one HE need left in their arsenal as well. They're gonna have to fight their way in because as their VP is here, but Pasha gets caught with a nade in his hand, and that's two kills from Fur. Taz is the only one left. He's down to 48 HP. They haven't seen him yet though, but Cold Zera is coming to the balcony, and Fur's gonna check it anyways. Yeah. That's beautiful stuff. Yeah, double peaked in fact from from low ground and the balcony. I think VP is gonna be out of money, perhaps. I think they've been drawn down enough. I think they've been whittled away. But that would be an interesting change of, change of pace. That would mean finally SK could get some breathing room here in the first half. They've definitely been suffocated quite a bit by Virtus Pro's defense. Neo will get the one kill. Saving the AWP is probably a very good idea considering that you only have five health left. I think he wants to stick around and try and get Burr as he dips away from the bomb site, but not happening quite yet. So yeah, he's just gonna fall all the way back now. Big save for Neo. Never know what kind of magic can uh, happen. Even say oh. hi to the chicken. Yeah, bring it with him. Yeah. Always, uh, always a good idea. A good guy, Neo. There are some. There's two kinds of players in this world, Anders. Some who would kill the chicken. Some who would uh, bring him with them. Which kind of you, Moses? I'd probably kill the chicken. See, I was expecting that. <laughs> Yep, Pasha not expecting that aggression from Fur, and 
I mean, it's at this point, it's just expected. Fur does so much for this team. The entries that he just provided, three kills, that's huge. That's the pistol round. Yes. 8, 5, Ooh, 14 look at coming up. Holy hell. Wow. I didn't notice that whatsoever. 16 kills and just five deaths. The flanks that were coming in this time, they were a little bit too slow, but um, yeah, he's been doing a remarkable job here, the fifth map. And they actually will buy, and would you look at that, Snacks with the Max 7. Yeah, we talked about this. This could be a lot of fun in this round. And it, 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 I mean, the crazy thing about it is most teams, if you have a buy like this and you're gonna put someone in those A-Halls with a shotgun, like you, you'll put a second player there, won't you? Snacks can do it on his own. Snacks are just like, leave it to him. He'll do something. Taz is gonna come with him anyways. Three players over towards the B bomb site, but the real strength of this buy is that AWP. Neo's got an M4 still. They're lacking a lot of utility though. And oh my god, you're getting aggressive with very little nades. Pasha now taking up the angle. What a risk. Pasha's here. He's gonna take down Taco, who was stuttering into the angle. Fallen is back there. There's Taco. Oh, you, uh, Pasha, does you really want to repeat this? Again, once you get that opening kill on the CT side, you can afford to be a bit more defensive, but that's just not the style that VP are employing. They want to keep it up. Snacks here, and he's going to get knocked out by Bolts. Not many people win that fight against Snacks. That's a big fight. Neo's already on the flank, though. He's already pushed up so far. He's going to continue forward, especially now that that kill's there. Taz has got to take out Bolts. He's got to win this fight, and he does. That's going to delay them. That can buy them time. Flashbang over the wall. That's not bad, but he does get taken out. Not ready for Fur to be there. Again, Fur overly aggressive, and VP's not ready for it. Same with Pasha. And that neutralizes the flank of Neo coming in. And they obviously know it. Fallen with a great kill. Shutting down Neo, reading it very well. Eight to six in the 15th round coming up, and there's just no money left at all on the VP side. So, I mean, this is a good adjustment for SK Gaming. Absolutely. They figured out what the problem was, and now they've got the formula. They also have the, the advantage of the economy. Finally now, like, there's there's not as much utility for Pasha and Neo to play with. Neo is still even aggressive that round without it. But a lot less to worry about, certainly, for SK. That round only had two M4s and the AWP. This time it's a UMP and some upgraded pistols. With that, Snacks is going to try and make a play in this smoke and mid. And he's spotted out by Bolts, who's done a great job watching the flank over towards this A yard this whole time. Clean win here towards the end, probably would reboot SK a bit in terms of the confidence, just bring them back in line a lot. I think it's going to be decided in that pistol round on the second half. I can't even wait for that. For playing near the drop here, they are actually rotating every single member of VP towards this B bomb site, so a big risk here in the final round. Pasha still on the stairs, that's CZ, but the Ali is waiting patiently. This has been a very slow lurk at times. Not this time, though. They're going to do it aggressively. Fur, he does fall. That's all the Ali can get. Three players here at B. And SK still just pumping the brakes, just waiting. Not they, seeing any peaks come. They really don't want to commit to it. Taco trying to peek in that same style. Obviously, no AWP waiting for him this time. Speaking of time, 34 seconds right now. They need to make up their minds. You don't want to get slowed down when there's this little time left. And there's a double peak coming out. Neo getting one. The reloads are in the C set. It takes so long. And Cold Seer is there with a headshot. Pasha dropping the bomb with 20 seconds left. And now it's a two on one. Neo getting a shot. And he's got time. Four bullets left. Can he find a gun? There's the AK 47. And Bolts is on the other side. Oh. Neo getting shot in the face. Great play from Bolts. Out in the open. A big risk. And the half finishes 8 7. Barely in favor of Virtus Pro. That was way too close. Oh my word. This is unreal. The tension in that round. Yeah, you could really sense at the end how focused and I guess also nervous SK were making any mistakes. No, and, and uh, the crazy thing is Neo and Pasha this time, they, they've been so aggressive and so peaky by those stairs at that broken wall. This time they, they show an immense amount of patience holding their nerve down the stretch. They like, because you could see, at, at a certain point, you want to have the information, because you have a stack at the B bomb site and you want to shot in the round, but they just wait. And they just say, you know what, we, we just kind of have to do this with the arsenal we have, with the, with the light weaponry. And it works out for them, they're almost able to win it. Now it's going to get interesting. The pistol round, 
Virtus Pro on the T side, they've had a lot of really fast ones, and this is a map that almost invites you to do that. It wants you to rush the B-bomb side with Glocks. All you need is one good kill, and either drop or the plateau, and there's very little chance that the CTs can hold on for long. But we'll see what happens. Second half coming up here, the final map in the Grand Finals, and everything is on the line right now. Oh my god, the bomb is out towards A, but this is very fast towards the B bomb site. Flashbang comes a little bit late, but Pasha has spotted Taco. His second one blinds him completely. They don't want that fight. They pulled the rotation. They need to make this work. They need to hustle back to the A bomb site if that's the plan. Neo's gonna drop down. He's there to cut off some rotations. Oh! Oh my word, that's so quick to come through. One player fallen, he's down next. And they have the A bomb site. Neo's cracked it open. There's absolutely no way. Taz gets downed finally, but I'm not even sure what we just witnessed. Three on four, as Taco gets a great kill there, bringing it back to a three on three. Bomb plant finally going through. I still feel shell shock from that. Taco getting one more great kill, taking down Snacks, trying to fight it back and shake off the shock that just was Neo, who's still alive and pushing closer. He's got the double, he wants to take bolts as well, and the time he's Perfect, turning around and spots Cold Zero up on the high Ooh. ground. Neo looking for the ace, but he's gonna get taken out. And now it's Cold versus Bialy. One on one here for the pistol. Glock versus USP, Cold making the jump, Bialy spots it. Gonna try and Ooh. fall back, he gets a fadeaway headshot, Bialy taking down Cold Zero. And that is gonna put it miles ahead. What a pistol round. What a sequence from Neo. I have actually just never seen a kill like that from anybody. Was that, was that a burst fire as well? Yes, I think it was. Mid-air jumping. I, <laughs> I'm speechless. This is a stunning performance out of Neo. Bialy even clutching it out as well, getting just around the edge of the wall. That's both pistols now on cobblestone for Virtus Pro. Scout comes out, another tag for Fallen. He's been great with it, he gets two. He's gonna get, no, he doesn't get a third, but he's done some damage as they push up. And he's bought time, his team is rotating over, there goes Fur. Taz gonna continue forward, but he's dropped from the side. And now they're gonna push right through the smoke. And oh my god, Virtus Pro, they just barely hold on. They've done it, Fallen. He's got a kill on a Neo in a one on two, but they know exactly where he is. Locked in, could not make it out. That looked like it was gonna completely fall apart for Virtus Pro. Trying for that aggressive push, just not giving any space at all. I mean, they have been playing against that scout a lot. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, that can't happen. It actually just cannot happen. I, it, I don't know what to say. This, this shot is sick. This, this is disgusting. Like, he even, like, uh, realizes there's someone in Murder Hole and just goes... And that, that's, like, the selfless play to go for the guy who's encroaching on his teammate as well. He knows Bialy has the better positioning for the fight. It's got 23 and 9. That, that would just add to the legend. This kind of a performance in a game five victory to take the championship at Epicenter. It's just very hard to explain how someone could be so good for so long. Snacks taking down Cold Zero. I like the boost attempt though. I mean, that CC could have almost done it. Gonna put some pressure on Snacks. Maybe they could trade it out so someone else gets a chance to, to run and gun with it. Don't see Snacks getting many more kills in this round with, with no, just the Mac 10. Just, just watch the flank even. Just build up the bank. Neo's on his way back. Surely he's gonna be mindful. He's waiting for it. He spots out Fallen. The spray control is there. Pasha swinging in. He knows Bolts is in the sight. And there's really nothing left for SK to be able to rotate into position, and they're all gone. An 11th for VP, and remember there was a second round investment from SK, so they'll be light on some utility. VP could be able to just grab complete control of this match with one round here. The crowd are absolutely loving it. They've been cheering Virtus Pro for a very long time throughout all five maps. 11-7, five more rounds. They've got the AK-47s, but now that AWP on Fallen. Let's see what this defense on SK can do. It's gonna be very tricky with two smokes and not much else, no diffuse kits or anything. And are they gonna go for the nip smoke stack? It almost seems like it. Yes, indeed. What do they do with it? That's the question. So versatile. 
They've pulled away fur from that A bomb site. Well, not all the way. They've pulled them just to the double doors. Still haven't pounced anywhere. And it's going to be a split. These guys want to attack drop, and Bolts isn't ready for it. The timing. There's the boost stuff. Is he ready for that? Yes, he is. Bialy goes down, and now Snacks has to go elsewhere, and this is where Fur pounces. He's traded off. Are they aware of Fallen over towards A Halls? Now it looks like they changed their mind. They want to go towards B, and nothing is working. They just haven't had enough success. And that might be the dagger. Snacks is now in a one on two. At least he spots out where Cold is, and they definitely got the call about Fallen with that AWP. Still very hard to get the bomb down eventually. That's all SK have to play for right now. Just make sure that you force him to at least attempt the bomb at some point. Time is going to be running out. There's 40 seconds now. Cold in the corner. Snacks. Not easy to check at all. He's got to worry about a hundred different angles here. Tries to see if he could do it. Walking out with his back turned. And that's the round. SK pick it up. Very, very good adjustment to crush that split on A, which was a very good round there. I mean, it's a great tactic for Virtus Pro, but so well read. Even the fact that they even try and turn it into a, into a crunch towards the B-bomb site, even though they try and crunch towards Connector and get those kills. An adjustment in the middle of the round for VP, but yeah, great to hold on for SK. They do lose three players, though, so remember, that's going to be that economic uh, strain. Still on the verge of a reset. What does VP come up with in this tactical pause? Doesn't look like Taz is doing too much of the talking. Well, we heard in the, one of the interviews going into it that sometimes when they just needed sort of a couple of rounds when it got to, you know, I think he said 13, but even 11 maybe, they, they sort of look to snack sometimes to try and find the, the solution. The creative answer. AWP picked up on Pasha. CC on snacks. Is there going to be a weapon for him? Or is he just going to try and make a crazy run for it? What a final this has been already. And the best may yet be to come. 11-8. 20th round here. Orp on either team. This time a lot more grenades on the SK side. So that's going to give them more to work with. Never, ever count the Brazilians out of a game like this. Yeah, falling over at the A-bomb side. He'll be the first rotation to be if this hit does come in here. This time it's Fur and A-holes. Virtus Pro being very, very patient. They don't have a lot of utility. There's not a whole lot of things they can do to force a fight early on in some of these rounds. They don't have that much drop control, which, given the fact that they have three on the B bomb site, they, they sort of have, if there ever was a fight on plat, they really have to win that. Because otherwise they're going to get crunched from drop almost immediately. Neo is clearing out this side alone, which is going to be a little bit annoying. Forcing for back, he does not want to go down, so that's now very limited map information for SK. They don't know much of what, what's going on, and unlike Virtus Pro, they're not flashing their way back onto the plateau. No, they're, they're not being aggressive there whatsoever. Comes some pressure towards drop for VP. Pasha lining up a smoke. For the door, I think, or for the, actually on the other side of the rock there. Trying to control that. 30 seconds, and now they're going to come down drop again. This first fight is going to be everything for this defense. Cold playing inside of the smoke. Really good angle. Bolts there, and Cold Zero knocking out two players. That's the kind of start they need. And Cold again. Triple now for him, leaving Pasha scouring away from the bomb site. Not welcome at all. It looked like Virtus Pro maybe had the idea. When you get down drop that easily, you feel like yeah. you've got something going on. I mean, it's that crossfire setup, right, between between Cold Zero and Bolts. That's so effective. Cold Zero is distracting him inside the bomb site at the statue, and Bolts is just sitting in the perfect position, exactly where actually Cold Zero just won the clutch in the previous round. That position is so hard to clear out, especially when you get shotting at from the site. And the unfortunate part for VP, not just the loss, but they've kind of let SK off the hook. They had him at that reset, uh, that edge of the knife, and SK with all five members surviving, they're going to build up some bank. This is so well played. Spray transfer continuing. So hard to call as well. Got to imagine if you're the first player going down there, how do you sort of relay that information to the rest of the team? Sort of playing inside the smoke, but you might not be able to see him. Yeah, right? He's over there. No, it's, and it's, it's also just the confusion of the moment as well. The hit coming in and then get shot in the back also. Let's check this out. Three-man setup. Grenades being thrown from practically T-spawn. Looks like the wall of smokes kind of play coming in yet again. 
And they're actually running the other way with the bomb. How many people are going to stay here and for how long? Fallen. This peek back in here could be really big. Pasha has got the AWP, so he's got to be a bit careful. Oh, and he sees everybody. He smoked out almost immediately. This could actually be a really big problem. Fur has to come up big, lining him up, but he gets knocked out. Snacks with the kill. Fallen going down. Neo with that one. Three versus five now, and they can't let go of this one. Bolts is out as well. Cold Zero very exposed, and somehow he's still alive. The bomb will be planted, but Cold is doing even more work. Pasha's got the position with the AWP. He's at the bottom of the ramp in mid. Taco is going to have a very tough time getting out. He's got a smoke, and that's what he's going to use to get out. But does he turn to his right to take the fight? He has done a great job getting in this position, and they have all post-plant spots to win it. And they have to win it. Taco making his way in. Pasha missing a huge kill, but cold. He had so low health, he's going to go down. And Taco might not have a chance any longer. He's going to slide back out and try and run away with it. Virtus Pro with just a huge round here. And Taco is going to get the AWP, which is really big, and run away. 12 rounds now for the VP side with almost nothing in the bank. That what? setup was so good. Yeah, no, that, that execute was, was so beautiful. And what it, what it did do, it didn't actually cause a rotation. Fallen didn't, didn't fall for it whatsoever. But he did put his eyes over towards the drop window. Just saying, okay, if there's smokes at B, I just have to be mindful that maybe they can come out drop. Have to be ready for it. Have to help watch my teammates back so I can just land this one shot. And the timing of it. It allowed one player to just gain some ground on him, and he wasn't expected when he turned back towards mid, and that's what caused him to give up the fight. I think that was almost the entire bank of SK used in this round. So now it's on a knife's edge here for the Brazilian side. So they don't quite lose the game here, but it's dangerously close. And SK, I mean, they, you know VP are feeling fired up right now. They can taste that. 12-9 the scoreline, still too close to call. Three smokes left for the SK side. All three, no, two of them at the B bomb site. One is over in long A. That's fallen with the AWP. What is Pro using some utility to apply pressure at drop? They haven't committed yet. It's Bolts playing outside of it. It's Cold Zera again playing that little cubby just outside of drop zone. The one that's so, so hard to clear. This time, though, there's no distraction at the fountain. There's no one there to keep their attention turned towards the bomb site. And now this gets dangerous. If they smoke this off and just book it up mid. Oh my god, that timing. That's so harsh. Wow. Let's see if that is gonna cost SK Gaming. Now they're getting very close, fallen. Right on the ledge. And they're ready for it. He misses the shot. And now he just has to run. They've got him trapped in the corner. Cold picking up a shot and fallen trying to stay alive. But won't make it happen. Bolts goes down to Pasha. This is big. Four versus three. 25 seconds, Cold Sierra looking for an opening. He wants back in the site, but they're not going to let him that smoke. Confer bring it back. He's gone undiscovered over at Long. Taco as well as on the flank. This could be very tricky for Virtus Pro to spite a man advantage. It's all on the line. Big investment in this round for the Brazilians. Bialy holding close here. Fur going to go for the peak, and he gets shut down immediately. Cold Zero and Taco left, two on four, and they just want to make it back. Taco with a big double opening, bringing down Taz and Pasha. But there's not that much time left. The bomb has been planted for a long time already. Cold, he needs this fight against Neo, and he finally gets the headshot. And Bialy, can he save it one more time? He's gonna go for the defuser, and Bialy gets the kill. And that's almost the last kill coming in. Bialy, he got dropped, but the bomb is gonna take Cold Zero with him. And another round for, for Virtus Pro. It's so close now. That double flank from Taco and, uh, and Fur, that almost ruined the days of Virtus Pro, put Neo in such a tough spot. But yes, they hold on. Finally, and again, it's some timing with Fall, and he's going to be so upset when he watches this replay. Last round was rough. This one was even worse. Just as he looks away from Danger Stairs, they walk past, and they're doing a contact play up mid. So again, when he peers towards mid with that AWP, he's not prepared for them to be that close. Now there's a proper kiss cam. Not even that we're doing it, but why not? I was going to say that guy wasn't even taking any chances. <laughs> he was definitely going to get that kiss. <laughs> Virtus Pro with a third tactical timeout here, trying to get the adrenaline down back to normal, if it's even possible at this point in the game. And look at the money for SK Gaming. That's why that last round was such a big deal. It's only a four-round gap, and 
given the history of these two teams in the grand finals, we've seen comebacks that are way more impressive, but the money... Yeah, the money's just not there. It's gonna have to be... I mean, obviously, they invest in some upgraded pistols, but it's not ideal. And even their next buy could be just just a tiny bit scrappy. Missing some kits, perhaps missing some nades. Neo at 26 and 12. Hoping to catch anyone going aggressive. Those two deagles. You mentioned it earlier. We saw it certainly previous maps. How good someone like Taco or Fallen could be with deagles. Definitely don't want to underestimate that. See if they can try and just sneak in a kill anywhere. I'm kind of surprised that SK are just not a bit more aggressive on their CT side. They haven't really had the, the tools to do it, right? I mean, we know this team likes the double op setup. They haven't really been able to afford that. They haven't been able to build up enough money to feel confident in being too aggressive, especially on a map like Cobble that is difficult for the CT sides to find places to be effective with that aggression. You need the utility. There's Taco. Here it comes. Long wait, deep breath. Taco really wants it, but he was already tagged up with a grenade. That was Snacks putting it out earlier. Put him down on 30. Now they've got a very good position here. SK Gaming without the armor on the bomb site, almost impossible. The bomb being rotated back as well, called in from Pasha, who's just slowly climbing his way in, saying, Yeah, we've got this covered. Nice. Yeah, I mean, they were going to go to the A bomb site, and Pasha just walking his way, just strolling in, no care in the world. Finds all the space in the world. Neo does fall in mid to Fallen's Deagle. That means an AK-47 can be brought into the next round if they want to go hunting. Depends on how much money Virtus Pro has. But you can feel it building now. BP about to be on a 14th round. SK Gaming does not have a whole lot of mistakes left to give. Fallen gets spotted. Really wants to save the rifle. Every single dollar counts right now if you're on the SK side and he's gonna miss the chance. Bialy takes him down. We talked about this earlier, how when they had their backs to the wall, we had players like Fur who came out on the SK side and yeah. really took some big risks and got the reward as well. This time, they really seemed quieted down SK Gaming. 14 to nine versus Pro, so near the finish line now. Oh, and it was that, that force by win that has really propelled them forward. So yes, this time, solid buy. In terms of what they have, Cold Zero, the glass cannon off with the smoke. No kits. Here comes Anders, the classic, the overpowering play. Cold Zero is with the off, and he hits one. Can he get any more? He's gonna drop the smoke to his left, peek out to the right. Looking, looking, Bialy's got a kill meanwhile. He's gotta do it now. He's forced into the flames, and he gets one more. He's holding on as long as he possibly can, and the bomb is getting planted. What a sacrifice from Cold, taking all that damage. Still alive and fallen. Getting the shot on Taz, Bialy and Neo trying to stay alive, and now just Neo, one versus four, and the bomb not gonna go up this round. Great defense, you're absolutely right. The attempt at the knockout, Cold Zero with the triple, 10 rounds for SK Gaming. It almost looked like they were gonna get run over the edge here, but just slowing it down a little bit like this, that can really change the game now. Yes, I mean, especially if now Virtus Pro doesn't doesn't have that. If they're a little bit afraid to go against Cold Zero with that op, he's so good in, in that chicken coop in the back of the bomb site. He's so good at saying his life. That smoke to the left. Sometimes he'll just hide in it. I mean, he puts it to his left to just allow him another avenue of escape, another avenue with which to op with. And SK with so many members surviving in that round, they can build up some some utility behind it. That's obviously the big deal. Last tactical Listen, timeout. I'm getting deja vu. Virtus Pro, much just like Train, using their last timeout towards the end of regulation. They know. They just, if they found any weakness, if they've seen a pattern, some sort of read that they have on SK, if they can get it in now, they could maybe close it out before the Brazilian side start to wake up, before they start to dream about that comeback which is absolutely possible here. Not that much of a gap, not that much money either on the BP side. In fact, look at this. Okay. Conservative down the stretch, not, not a bad idea. Same a lot of setup. utility, yeah. Well, I mean, that would just tell you that they have similar strategy with the same smokes, right? So you can mask it. This VP might call those smokes out again. 
and this time they head towards the B-bomb site and catch him off guard. That's dangerous though, that's definitely lethal. It looks like maybe leading the charge could be Pasha. If you jump around that corner with the CC, catching someone close, that could work out very well. Ready to get in drop, not gonna catch anyone. So all of these flashbangs, not really doing much. Final grenades are coming out. That's not gonna do anything either. Bolts, really good hold from him so far. And with everybody chiming in, a complete lockdown here for SK Gaming. That's so big, surviving with five members as well. Yeah. Building the confidence, Moses. They're not out for the count yet. Yeah, SK, they don't get fooled by that one. They don't budge an inch. They play passively. They wait to see where exactly VP is committing and they just crunch on it. Three players all chiming in. Now you imagine this is what the Virtus Pro timeout was for, this next gun round. It's like, all right guys, half buy, buy some utility, we're gonna do this in the save round, but the next one, this is the idea we have. Four bodies heading towards the A bomb site for Virtus Pro. They've caught some really, really fortunate timing on Fallen a couple times, but that's when he had the off. Now he's holding onto the AK. Pasha hoping that this would be the round where someone wanted to take a risk on SK side, and it, it is a really big risk peaking past this point on long. The last time we saw the setup with, with Biali and Snacks working together at drop zone, this was the attempted split towards the A bomb site that turned into them trying to go back towards B. Still waiting at the moment. Fallen's gonna drop a smoke just as the opponents come in. That's gonna hold them back. That neutralizes one smoke from Virtus Pro. Clever play from Fallen. It looks like that's gonna force some kind of adjustment. Avoiding the spam through the wall there. Very dangerous with the AK-47. He's still playing very actively and close to the middle. He wants the early information. There's been a couple of rounds where he's been run down at the top of ramp, so now he's a bit more proactive. Grenade doesn't do too much. This B defense, though, is going to need help. It looks like Virtus Pro is setting up, and this could be extremely fast. 37 seconds. Cold looking dead into the smoke. Pulling the trigger now would be wonderful, and they're trying to boost to look on top of it. Cold repositioning himself. Can he see anybody? Not just yet. And here comes the push. Taco getting the first kill, taking out Neo. That's a really big effort. Dropping a second and nearly a third. Taz finally overcoming him. And now Cold Zero in a bit of trouble behind the statue. Flashbang, Zorini drops Bialy. In fact, fallen there, coming out. The defense is holding. SK surviving this round. Seven seconds as Fallen shows up as the hero with a big double. Yeah, but it's Taco behind that smoke, isn't it? The one kill to transfer over to drop zone to help his teammates out and even getting the dink on Taz. Yali looks a bit stumped. And these hits have kind of felt like they've lost a bit of their power into them, haven't they? They're getting stalled out. Some of the first kills going the way of SK, really slowing down the way that Virtus Pro can wrap on the bomb site. Cold Zero has been phenomenal with the AWP since he's finally got it in its hands. It feels like what, what Virtus Pro really want is to sort of peek a corner and have a lot of really quick fights. And instead, the SK defense just absorbs all that aggression, you know? Yes. The fights don't happen quick, they happen over a long stretch, and it's working out very well. And this time, Ferb is aggressive. And Neo is weirdly locked in here. Ooh, bit of a run back. Could have gone badly. Oh, it's, I mean, fair play, good effort. Fallen behind the smoke. Bolt's just gonna give up drop zone. Doesn't have the teammate to fight for with them, so they'll just have to play contain. Now that Snacks has the positioning, and dangerous game with the nades in your hands. It's fallen again. And all the kills going the way of SK. So the next round, remember, VP's out of timeouts now. They have to find a winning formula, and they have to do it on the fly. Snacks has picked up an AK-47. Would be great to take any of these weapons away down the stretch. So close right now. Battling away. Fallen gonna take the kill against Taz, and that puts us at 14-13. I I don't even know what the formula is right now for Virtus Pro. They seem very locked in. They've tried the change of pace. They've gone for the A rush up the ramp. They've tried for the A splits. They've tried almost everything. Well, one thing they really haven't done is actually gone at Fur in the A halls. He's been largely untested. They haven't actually put like more than, you know, we've seen a couple times Neo's cleared it out all on his own, caused some, caused some distraction, put some pressure on it. But we haven't seen Virtus Pro really commit to taking over and attacking that bomb site from that angle. Oh, looks like they want quick aggression or at least noise towards the B bomb site, and this might be the round where they do it. Moses, you might have a dead on, but look at how first playing. He's just getting a tiny pixel peek, and then he's back around the corner. Wants to put up the smoke, the Molotov, in fact, to try and force them back. 
Ooh, Fallen missing one shot, goes for the repeat. Now they're gonna try and grenade everything here, and Fur has to get at least one kill and preferably stay alive for quite a long time. But I think that was a friendly flashbang. Fur getting the kill on Snacks, dropping the bomb. This is big news here. SK Gaming fighting for their lives. Fallen gonna burn to the Molotov. Fur is down as well. Pasha getting the kill, but Bol Bolts is gonna come in as well. Three on three, Bolts shot in the face. Taz now in play, and Taco, he's very exposed here. Gonna get shut down. Neo just walking in casually. Cold Sierra. One versus three. It is looking like tournament point here for Virtus Pro. They've got plenty of time. Cold Sierra sneaking in, getting Bialy. Surely not. That's let the bomb cross, though. That was something that could have helped. Cold Sierra with the op now. He's got to find two. He's got to find his one on ones, and he has no idea where the second player is. Behind the trunk. One missed shot, and it's gonna be a headshot from Taz, so quick! The triple, and Virtus Pro now, tournament point here for the Polish team. It's all focus for Neo. Taz was so patient, the three kill, but when they needed to cross into the bomb site, he's waiting for Neo for the double peek down at APC while Neo peeks from the fence. Neo just takes a clean headshot for it, but there it is, finally they pressure Fur. And that wasn't just pressure fur, that was three going holes and then transferring down danger stairs. Only two going, actually committing to the site from holes and three coming up mid, fallen again. Some critical misses in these rounds, so they've actually attacked him. Now it's crunch time. Double up set up. Fallen's got his op back. Cold Zera's got his as well. 29th round. Once again. SK fighting to extend it into overtime, and they have certainly proven that that's what they could do. Double up. It's been their ace up the sleeve almost every single matchup. And here on Cobblestone, it had better work out, because otherwise, that's going to put an end to the marathon game for them here. Back to the Halls play. This time, Fur is committed. This is just gonna be a fight. There's no chance of him getting away, and he's completely blind. He's got nothing to do, nowhere to go. Opening kill for VP. Now the pressure's really on. SK, they must know it. Four players left, and Virtus Pro don't even follow it up with aggression. They just wanna slow it down. Do SK question themselves in this? Yeah, but Bolt's rotated so quick. He felt the pressure coming. That's normally what happens. Fallen's got a big job to do again. Oh, he's pushed up against them. He gets the first shield on Taz. That's almost unbelievable. Gonna fall back into the site behind the cannons. He cannot miss this next shot. Snacks is right in front. Ooh. A headshot from Fallen. He wants more. The triple. Trying to get the no scope, but he cannot get it. Neo has taken him down. 14 seconds and trying for the bomb plant. Two on three. Neo and Pasha holding on to the dream. Otherwise, SK Gaming could be right back in this game. And their heads have got to be spinning right now. The pulse rushing in their ears. Neo on the site. They've got him isolated. There's a deep flank coming in here from Pasha. He goes down. Neo, the last one left. He's going to get one kill turning around and he gets shot down. Going all 30 rounds here against SK Gaming. That is so close. Fallen delivers. He struggled a couple times in that scenario, but not this time. Holding on for a squad, allowing them to get there to the bomb site to finish it off. Taco with the big flank as well. And now the question becomes, what does Virtus Pro have left to fight with in this 30th round? It's not gonna be a lot. Three UMPs, a CZ, a Galil. At least you have to say, Without the bomb plant, it would have been... Even worse. <laughs> yeah, it Almost been. cementing overtime, right? Do they have one last trick, one last bit of magic here? Or are we really going to see overtime in a best of five grand finals on the final map? Three UMPs, one Galil, one CSET, 75. B rush could definitely be exactly right. I mean, they, they have no presence on the other side of the map at all, so it doesn't seem like they'll be able to... Yeah, they're just gonna execute here. And this is a clever smoke from Taco. He'll be able to utilize that pretty well. He can hide in it, he can walk around the edges. That Molotov for Cold Zera is gonna burn. He's gonna drop that smoke. Here come the UMPs. Rushing right out. Neo almost jumping on top of Bolts, who sets up a great quad kill, spraying down every single member, and that's overtime. 
15-15. What a comeback from SK Gaming. It's How do you keep the focus for that long? It's the mirror of train. They made it happen. VP is out of timeouts as well, and they finally gotten here. The double up setup serves them well down the stretch. This is incredible from both teams, the resilience to stay in these matches. Keeping the focus, keeping the stamina up. How far underground do you have to put SK for them not to just resurrect and come back again? 15-15, overtime is in effect here. We've got double up, they can afford it now on the SK side and everything else. Let's see if this changes anything. Well, SK is trusting Fur this round. It's the only one at the A bomb site. Puts out an early Molotov due to a pop flash coming through the doors. Oh, he's getting spammed. Yeah, get back to the site. 35 HP. Actually, everyone has taken a lot of damage on this SK side, and Bolts is completely blind. That should be an easy kill for Snacks. What? He doesn't care for it. He doesn't care whatsoever. Fallen doesn't have the info. Bolts doesn't know what's happened, and Snacks now could be a masterclass. He does get taken down by Taco. But now it's all on Fur, and he hears the footsteps close angle. He's gonna go for the peak, but Pasha takes him down. And the madness continues. Three versus four. Grenade comes in. It's oh, it's gonna be Neo instead to pick up Taco. I have no idea what Snacks just did. Bolts now burning to the Molotov down to 20 health. Cold Sierra shut down from Bialy. And that's gonna be the first round of overtime in favor of Virtus Pro with an inexplicable play. No, it's what a selfless play from, from Snacks that it is. He's got him completely blind, but he's already into the window. He's looking at the end goal. He knows that his job is just to kill one player a day, fallen in the doors. That's his only kill that's important. He does exactly that. Because of the fact that Bolts hasn't died, because of the fact that he hasn't called anything out because he hasn't seen anything, Fallen doesn't realize the danger. Neo dropping 30 kills in overtime against SK here at the Grand Finals. Have to point that out as well. SK, right back on track here with the rifles. Double up again. What a round. <laughs> Now it slows back down. But it's gotta be so worrying if you're SK that the pace can just be picked up whenever. And it seems like VP really realized this hall's portion of the map. If they can just take out Fur, he's gonna turn the corner, that's the bomb. Neo's gonna come in for the trade, the spam, and he can't win that one either. Pasha has just been holding for a peek, but it's just been Fur all on his own, winning a, basically a one on three in the halls. And he's sticking around. Yeah, they have to deal with him. The bomb is there. That's also a risk. If you put too much on trying to hold a bomb, could get out of hand. And they're gonna fall back here. One man army stopping Virtus Pro here. Absolute brilliant play coming out of him. Once you get the first kill, you could think that might just be it. He's certainly locked in that corner. Well, there's only one smoke left. That's on Pasha. So VP is going to have to fight their way into this bomb site. The timing's not there. Fur drops three in this round, and there's no utility that they can use. Snacks with one as he works his way up to the top. But there's still two players here, and the op from Fallen, it's not going to miss that shot. Now he's spotted out Snacks as well, and it's an easy kill for Bolts, who snuck over by cannons. Good reset for SK Gaming. Incredible defense from Fur. We were talking about this a bit earlier, when when the game has been lasting this long, you play overtime, this is where mistakes start to happen. I could have forgiven Fur if he had, you know, sort of pulled out a grenade and missed the second kill or something. Like, that's yeah. the kind of thing you expect when you've been playing for this long at such a high level, and he just doesn't even stutter. No nervousness at all, and Fallen with a flick, taking down Taz. That time, there wasn't a pop flash from VP into the gap. Fallen punishes him for it. I don't think they've actually had to deal with that too often in this. Now it is still Fur all on his own again. This time he's taken out. A free equalizer down to a four on four. Looks like Taco and Bolt's gonna start cheating. Taco especially is just on his horse. He's over to the A bomb site. 19 is the magic number. Don't recognize the overtime format. I don't think VP's won a round at the B bomb site since Cold's got that AWP. That's a good point. They even 
know that he's at the chicken coop. They keep Molotoving it, but he still gets <laughs> a lot done. It's unreal, isn't it? He's got 26 kills. Let's see if this is the round where they finally find an answer for it. Oh my lord. Timing. He's going to be forced back a bit, standing in the fire. and going to be putting it out. That's a lot of damage. And remember, these walls are paper thin. Any bullet through right now, and he's going to be in trouble. And they know that someone's going to be back here. That smoke is a big beacon. Bialy gets a kill. Pasha's there to shut down Cold Sierra. Beautiful entry into the site. That's how you do it. You don't take out, you don't take care of Cold Zero, you take care of his teammate and force him into action where you are waiting to pounce. Fallen sneaking right in. Bialy gonna take him down and Taco with three health here is gonna be dropped by Neo. 17 to 16. As Vertisro win two out of three of the first rounds of overtime here. Still enough energy to laugh. He's having himself a game. Gotta be enjoying it no matter what. Virtus Pro Chance again ringing out in the arena. SK now trying to figure out what to do. And remember, I mean, we'll just go back to it. They do have, I, th I believe it's two timeouts left, if I remember correctly. So, I mean, if they do happen to lose that first round and they have to win two in a row, they, they have the timeouts to come up with a game plan for each of those if desperation strikes. There are not that many players in their professional careers who are going to be put to the test to this extent. Playing five maps, overtime on one of them now, overtime on another one again. That has got to take a huge strain. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. Taz is going to be in halls. He's going to be joined by Snacks with an AWP. Pasha and Neo in the first half were phenomenal. It feels like ages ago. But they played so well together. This time they're a bit split up to start. Actually, three players for VP. I'm not sure what this read is. Maybe they're thinking because they were so dominant at B, just stack A and see what happens. That would be quite next level. And looks like their read is amazing. Snacks in position here with the AWP, even a bit of an off angle. Now he's going to take a more regular angle here, but there's. A lot of backup here for him. Fallen setting up for the flashbang. Snacks not getting the shot. Taz in the corner gets a great spray and almost takes down Bolts. Are they going to be ready for it? Do they want to hunt him down? Very dangerous, especially because Bialy's right next to him. There are four Molotovs. If SK readdresses back to the B bomb site, Neo can get burned out. He doesn't have a smoke to extinguish it. Fallen just playing the waiting game now, forced back. Snacks being so patient. Flashes and nades coming out. There's a good flash. All the timing's there, though. Fallen finds it. Now it's Bialy who's got to step up, and he's committed to this position. Posh is on the rotation. He's got the AWP. Two coming up the ramp. Two coming from Halls. The time, 20 seconds. They don't check the corner. Bialy gets a great double spray down, dropping the bomb. That might just be game winning. Taco goes down, and Cold gets dropped. 18 rounds. The patience. Not taking the first kill, ensuring the double and getting tournament point again here for Virtus Pro. All of the pressure now on the Brazilian side. That's so incredible, the trigger discipline. VP is playing lights out at the moment. He wanted Pasha to show up, he had some quiet maps. He's at 26, he's doing great, Bialy is doing great. They've got two chances now. And it's, it's the creative nature of this defense. The first half, dominating B platform with the utility usage, Neo and, and Pasha. And then that round, calling for the three-player stack out towards long. Virtus Pro being very proactive. You really have to love it, don't you? Luckily for SK, they do have money to buy. That's obviously critical. Would be the most disappointing thing if they simply ran out at the end here and had to play the last round with Pistols. Nobody wants to see that. A lot of damage on Pasha. He's going to be forced back a bit. No, no defense inside of drop for Virtus Pro either. So that could make it dangerous. If, if any of them have to rotate, you have to be very, very cautious. If they have to go to the A bomb site, you never know who can be perched up and drop. Flash bangs out. So are smokes and nades. Pasha blinded. One is cross. Cold Zera. At this angle. Can really, really hinder that. Taco's got to be careful with this peak. There it is. The flick doesn't hit. Oh, look at Taz. Aggressive. 
the timing could have been there, but now this A-bomb side is in so much trouble. And with 30 seconds left, they are going to make a run for it, SK Gaming. They want to get up close before too much aggression comes in from the BP side. And in fact, they're a little bit slow, which has allowed Virtus Pro to get closer. Snacks unscoping at the wrong time, and he's in trouble. Gets the damage, but every single teammate has fallen, and he's going to get dropped. Neo was miles away, so it looked like maybe SK were waiting too long. They bring it back, and now they're almost a double overtime. It certainly helps that push from Taz at the wrong moment, trying to make a play thinking there's going to be more pressure at the B-bomb site. He gets stopped cold, and then from there, it's just, you know, VP is scrambling to get into position at time at the A-bomb site. Patience from SK Gaming. Even in a round where almost having so little time on the clock punished them in the previous round, still being very, very patient. There's Cold Zero going to close it out. One more round. It's championship for VP or double overtime. How much longer can this go on? One mistake is all it takes. The focus still 100%, and finally there's a tactical timeout for SK Gaming. I was wrong, they had three left. Wow. How unreal is that? Even during comebacks. Yeah, in final maps of Grand Finals as well. <laughs> I mean, it's almost too much. We'll do it live. Well, VP would love to find some way. The crazy thing is that it seems like, I mean, SK's not really giving him a whole lot towards B platform. Both of these teams really, really going after that A bomb site in these overtimes, especially through halls. Oh, they're just taking two in a row. <laughs> they, they, what, a, what a nice little luxury to have. They really don't want to lose this at all. <laughs> that, makes, that makes you think, I mean, What's going to be the call here? I mean, is it going to be something really interesting or do they just want the full reset, the full mental reset here? Inside of the mind of Fallen, running through all of the rounds in regulation. Years of practicing. All of that culminating in this one round, just trying to figure out how is this going to play out? 18-17. Overtime or bust right now for SK Gaming. They've played an unbelievable tournament. Now they have to fight just a bit longer. The fur coming in aggressive, tries to run down, drop the flashbangs are in. Neo shutting it down, turning around. Oh my god! Triple kill! Unbelievable! Pasha on the bomb site. And now they've slowed it down. SK Gaming, they need this next kill. And Fallen is gonna give it to them. Still a two on three. Everything on the line right now. Fallen creeping up, close scoped in with the AWP. He makes it back alive, but that could have gone horribly wrong. Bolts, long range spray to take down Pasha. Two more kills here for Virtus Pro, and they will have made it all the way through. Taz looking. One opening, no bomb plant yet. Nobody wants to make the next move. They're just waiting for it, and a shot from Fallen taking down Taz right through and Snacks patiently waiting wants the mistake and he does not capitalize on it that might have been the one chance here I don't see SK giving away this now one versus two Snacks gonna try and see if he can fall back and reposition himself but with the bomb down they've spread out and he just has one life left there's a shot to take down Bolts a single bullet from that AWP have fallen. And it's all gonna come to an end. He's hiding. Snacks getting shot in the back and it's double overtime. Fallen, an absolute hero. Saving that round for his team. Fallen delivers in such a big way. And what a bold call. They do the Virtus, they throw Virtus Pro's tactic right back at him. Just a power play down drop and it actually fails. Three kills for Neo. That was what, a two on four at one point? And you're exactly right. I think that's the first time in these games that we saw the pressure get to Virtus Pro. It seemed like nobody wanted to take the fights. Everyone was just trying to survive. Everyone was just trying to get into cover. And Fallen takes advantage of all of it. Maybe they were expecting that SK would try and sort of come and force Taz out. Because he had the angle, Snacks. Could try and take that deep shot. Snacks uh, oh just invested a lot of money. No, he bought he bought an auto shotgun as well, and then he bought that shotgun, and then he bought an M4. So I'm assuming the plan is get the M4 somewhere, play with the shotgun, don't commit, get a kill maybe, get away, and then pick up the M4 for everything else. 
the luxury of 16K. This is way too much. Double overtime is now in effect. Fur turning around, and Taz, did he not see it? Neo gets a kill, but first running down Taz, so he did definitely did not spot it out. To leave Snacks in a very odd position. He's Fur in a very odd position, although now he's dinked, so now it gets a lot easier. He's just got to find a way to get back safely. That was very awkward from Taz, but trademark aggression from Fur puts him in an unexpected position. Neo and Pasha still over at the B bomb site. The one area that has no eyes on it at the moment is drop. Neo's getting closer now. But they just have to play contain. They're playing outside of it. Asher on the stairwell. He has been magnificent in this position. Usually with some help from Neo, who's put up some great flashbangs. Can they do it one more time? Asher with a smoke. Very good timing on the smoke there with 35 seconds. That's. That's a real problem for SK. Yeah, they want to bail out. They, yeah, they're going back to the uh -oh. A bomb site. Just Bialy read this though, and again, look at Cold Zera. Who better to lurk in this position? All he has to do is get one kill. Bialy has to watch this, and he's going to find it. He's going to get the kill. Now it's on Snacks next. Bolts is going to turn the corner, and he's going to win the fight. He's down low, but another flashbang goes down. And SK, they might have just done it. Five seconds left of the clock. They're going to get the bomb plant down. There's no grenade to stop it, otherwise. That could have been ugly. They're very low on health right now. But VP, can they make it past that AWP? It's on fur now, in fact. Neo trying for the peak. There's the first kill. Unreturned from SK Gaming. And he really wants to see if he can get this done. Bolt's going for yet another kill. Almost out of it. And fur to get the shot with the AWP. SK Gaming, they win that round. Bolts. Two critical fights down the stretch go the way of SK. That's that's so painful for Virtus Pro. They had the fights they wanted, just couldn't finish off the kills. I mean, look at the performance for Bolts in this game. 33 kills. Brand new on the team as well. Not even 100% joined yet, necessarily. Yeah, not, I mean, not to mention, you know, he's had, he had some rough maps early on in these Grand Finals, but certainly coming alive in this fifth one. Madness. 1918. Virtus Pro with a great start in that round as soon as Bialy won that kill on Cold. You thought that was going to be it. <laughs> okay. Not all that graceful. I think Neo thought that Molotov was actually going to burn him, so he just he bailed out of the stack early before Bialy could get up. But yeah, there's an opportunity there. Who knows? Could be saving grace. Could have been for a reason. <laughs> Divine intervention. Yeah, one would call it. Well, here's Pasha again with his angle. Really, I mean, I don't. This hasn't been as effective. Whether that's just SK being much smarter about it, but here's that iconic shotgun from Snacks. Bolts won this fight earlier, and it's the same exact way. He does it again. I'm starting to believe that Bolts just might be a genius. <laughs> Not many players are going to be able to win that fight, and he's done it twice now in Ta double overtime. Taz has a flashbang as well if he wants to do that, but he misses the shots. Now here's Bial. He's got to get two. He's dig first. He's going to go for Taco. It's not going to happen. Two on three situation. Neo and Pasha are going to rotate over. They're going to be here in time. They need to be quick. They have to get this next kill. Neo almost caught out. Bolt's getting more kills. Another double for him. And there's the triple, the headshot. He has truly come alive here at the end. Erasing any question about whether or not he could fit into this team. He's been so solid. And what a story as well. Remember, he was part of the original core of Luminosity that came onto the world map. With Fallen, I believe even for some time with uh, with Cold Zera as well, with Fur. Was cut from the team. That was back at the end of 2015. Final tactical timeout now. Yeah, why not? I mean, you have a timeout left for double overtime. Just put that through your mind <laughs> for just so a second. That's so dirty. Virtus Pro used all theirs, I think, around 25 of, of, of regulation. They've got to get this one, though. They need to have some kind of a cushion for that second half of overtime. 
I don't know which outcome right now would be more shocking because it definitely looked to me like Vertispro were going to run away with this map. And just like time and time again, SK, they dig their claws in, they do not give up. And suddenly, they've turned it around. Neo almost at 40 kills. What can they do here? Virtus Pro, double up, a lot of rifles to follow. And you're absolutely right, they need that one round buffer. A lot of pressure on this B defense. No hit yet, here they come down drop. He always here, can't win that initial fight. Now it gets scary, Taz underneath the window. He gets one, Taco doesn't want to mess with it. But that's a big kill, Cold Sierra getting one on the bomb side itself. Pasha locked in. They don't even have the bomb committed to this yet. Cold is just looking for a way, and he sees the gun barrel. Pasha in so much trouble, he's gonna drop. And Snacks, I'm not sure there's any way to retake this. Picks up the M4, and he's gonna get down by Fallen. Three in a row here. SK Gaming now a tournament point in double overtime. A miraculous story. I'm not sure there's many, many teams other than SK that could have made the comebacks in some of these games. You think the comeback on Train, now on Cobble. Surely there's not many teams who could keep their focus. And again, just very fast paced down drop. The initial fight doesn't go their way. I think there was supposed to be a second player from VP to get into drop zone with Bialy. It was just that that hit came so fast. They weren't expecting that. Second half, double overtime, last map. One mistake from Murders Pro and SK are going to be able to pull this one all the way back in what has to be just one of the craziest tournament runs of really almost any team at this point. Oddly enough, I think the only team that could match it would be Luminosity at that dream hack right after the <laughs> roster change. Yes, indeed. Stacked up all over towards the B hallways are Virtus Pro. No crazy plays coming out from anybody yet. Okay, not a fight I would take with an M4 there, but he, he does come out on top. I was gonna say he wins it clean, doesn't he? Hasn't been touched. Neo down to 58. Fair play to, to Fur. Four players of Virtus Pro over towards this B bomb site. Again, they're gonna have to go through Cold Zero with that AWP. Tacos here as well. Bolts will be quick on the rotation. Flash is coming over. Cold Zero is actually out in the open. It's a wall of smokes. Where is the hit going to come from? They're still so far away. They're not even making a presence at this bomb site. This could be. They're using a lot of utility and not doing anything with it. Oh, Cold getting the first kill. A lot of people coming down. Drop making a lot of noise here. They've already lost Pasha. There's Bolts with a kill. Can he close it out? He's going to be going down to Bayali. Taco comes in with a spray. And somehow Taz gets a one in return. And now they want to run for the site. Fallen is here. Shutting down Neo. Bialy and Taz left two on three. 30 seconds. They have to make a move. The Falling missing a shot. But Fur is there to follow it up. And Taz, the last one left. SK Gaming. Miraculous comeback here in Russia. They win the whole tournament time and time again. Global Offensive 2017. You can't mess with this team. You can't doubt them in any scenario. The comeback on train was incredible. This, the comeback to force overtime and just hold on. SK didn't always look like it, but they found all the answers. SK Gaming. I am absolutely lost for words. Such a long battle. They made the comeback against Astralis in the semifinals. They did it on train. And now here on Cobblestone for the fifth map. Double overtime. What exactly does it take to break this team? I don't think anybody has the answer. And you got to feel for Virtus Pro as well. One of those tournaments, like you said, an insane run for a team coming into this tournament that didn't look like they still had it. Answered a lot of those questions. One of the rare times you could say, you could almost feel a team deserved it, and SK, they say no right at the end. Such calculated and such foresight, saving the overtimes, doing everything they had to. 
A very taxing game for everybody involved. And absolutely the fans are loving it. Just another incredible performance from, I mean, really, across the BO5, you're, you're going to have it from every single player of the team, but th this tournament run has been phenomenal. I mentioned before this began, Fur, Cold, Fallen, all in the top three, statistically. But Bolts, what a time to come alive. Not even on the team, on loan. And he stepped up huge in the grand finals. Well, here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your grand champions here at Epicenter. It's SK Gaming. What an incredible team. Чемпионы турнира Эпицентр по Counter-Strike Global Offensive 2017. SK Gaming! I'm surprised they still have the strength to lift the trophy, Moses. Yeah, well, they're gonna have to find space on the mantle. They have that trophy room set up in the house and it's it's gotta be getting full and that is a huge trophy. And well earned and well fought for. A historic grand finals, best of fives. Don't always get to see that, and, incredible. And the fact that they had to battle the entire way, there was, there was no easy games in this tournament. The, the teams that were here were the best in the world. They had to do series battles all the way through. It's going to be a while before we get to the sign for every single story of this whole game. There's so much going on, and even the fact that they were playing Virtus Pro at the end there. I mean, now they appear to be back. They're a threat again. They could have won it almost at any given moment. I mean, listen, Chad said on the desk that he thought this team could be even better than what we saw out of some of their big runs just recently earlier this year. And with that kind of performance, finding all the answers, in a fifth map after what, six, seven hours of gameplay in double overtime. A team that can adapt and that can always find a way to win rounds. This this squad does indeed look so very scary. Touring the whole stadium. They look so thrilled right now. This is what every Counter-Strike player, every aspiring player out there wants to experience one day. The lesson, surely, for every player in the world right now has to be that if you've got them down for the count, then you've got to keep them there. You've got to keep them on the mat because if they get back up again, it's it's done. Yeah, you have to finish. You have to do it. And it's easier said than done. But there's too many weapons on this team. Fallen's Alping. And the mental resilience as well. I mean, some critical mistakes from Fallen at one point. And he bounces back in the end. He gets some incredible rounds to bail his team out. You get to Cold Zera. One of the most consistent players in the world for a play style that just can't be matched. Bolts and Taco have just been consistent rocks of this team. Solid performances, able to step up when needed. It's a very deep, deep talented team. And this is coming off the back of a run where they definitely were looking shaky. Looked like the team wasn't functioning well enough. Another contender, another strong position here for them close to the major as well that's not that far away we're not even at the end of the year but you've got to remember that if they're this good now with bolts only just joining what's going to happen a couple of months from now competitive counter-strike <laughs> is at a level that it's just never been at before no it's unbelievable even i mean even if you look at the level obviously the level vp hit was so so very impressive that that's a top top three team for sure if, the, if that was a level they could keep consistently G2, they hit a great peak at this tournament. Very easily could have been in the grand finals. Astralis as well. Uh, there's a shot for the history books. Absolutely 